Good morning. This is Lady Court from Lady Court Tales. This is the third time I've tried to make this video in several days. I keep getting interrupted. Um, but what I mainly wanted to talk about is the change in the world and the blending of the genders. Um, now, the generation prior to me was the woman's, you know, equal rights movement, um, working outside the household, equal pay, burning of the bras, etc. Um, and so I'm a product of that. And with the loss of the mother in the household, I think we all can pretty much see the repercussions of that in our societies and what's going on with the children. I think that's self-evident. Um, you know, I do believe in sharing of responsibility. You know, if one partner can't work, then, you know, the other needs to step up. Um, but uh, the women being out of the household so much, and s these poor single mothers, and yes, I've lived it, you know, where you're not home and the kids are home, and it's just... It's just a horrible situation. Um, but now we've come to a different level of the blending of the genders. And uh, males can be females and females can be males. And, um, and I'm not talking about, you know, the gay society. I mean, they have no... Um, most of them have no interest in uh, changing their gender. Um, this has leaked over into children, changing of the gender, um, being told that it's okay to want to be the opposite one, and, oh, we're sorry, you were born with the wrong parts, and um, let's cut your hair, or let's let it get longer, and... Um, you know, these are children. Um, their hormones have not even come in. Um, meaning the hormonal puberty stage. Uh, their brains are not developed until the, their 20s. Um, their bodies certainly aren't developed. And then they're taking it so far as to give them injections to delay puberty. Um, surgeries to remove parts, add parts, etc. And this is just plain out abuse as far as I'm concerned. Do they know the long-term repercussions of this? No, they don't. They're like guinea pigs. Let's just see what happens if we do this. I mean, that's the physical repercussions. The psychological repercussions are going to be horrible, absolutely horrendous. What if they change their minds? What if they grow older and change their minds? Why are you telling them that the way that they were born is wrong? And then now we've got all these... Uh, you know, like the Boy Scouts of America, we're going to include girls. I mean, where is it that you're going to be able to go that boys can be with boys and girls can be with girls? We are different. And thank God we're different. There were two genders created for a reason. A reason. And now we're trying to blend it all into one to the point where these robots are now being created. They're genderless. And they're be get, and one is given citizenry? Really? In Saudi Arabia? I mean, what is going on here? It's... I never... If somebody would have told me this in my 20s or even my 30s, I'd have said, yeah, right. Yeah, funny, funny, funny. I never would have believed this. Never. The more unimaginable it is, they make it real. 
And these poor children, poor children, it's abuse. It's out and out abuse. You are ostracizing them from their gender and you're creating problems for them in society. Now, if they want to grow up and do that as a full-fledged adult with their brain completely developed, intact, then that's, that's on them. They get to decide the next, you know, 60 years of living or whatever. But you're going to decide when they're four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old? Are you kidding me? For the rest of their lives? What is wrong with these people, these parents? I don't understand. Oh, but they said they want to be a boy. Yeah, well, my son wanted to be Spider-Man. I bought a costume and let him run around in a Spider-Man costume. It doesn't make him Spider-Man. And no matter what you do to that child, they are genetically a boy or they are genetically a girl. All you're doing is adding things to their system and messing with their heads. If my child said that, insisted on it throughout his life or her life, I would say, you know what? You can make that decision when you're an adult for yourself. And if that's what you want down the road, I will support you. I won't exactly like it because of the damage it might do to you physically, definitely, but I'll support you as an adult. And the, I mean, when... Boys are being demasculate, you know, men. There's just this whole thing of taking away the masculinity of boys. I don't understand. I mean, I was a tomboy. I, I rebuild and redo furniture. I do things that are more, I guess, leaning towards the male side and things. Um, I mean, uh, women for me are not the easiest to get along with because I, what they think is important, um, mainly materialism, I don't think is important, but I'm a woman with my own personality and I embrace that. And I want my boys to be boys. And my girl to be a girl. And if they choose something later, that's that's their business. Or if they're gay, you know, hey, that's that's one thing. But to change your whole body? Are you kidding me? That is just that's truly deplorable that is deplorable there's a right use of that word deplorable god help those children and shame on those parents shame on them And then they want to teach this stuff in schools, and now we have 30-something genders they want to classify? I didn't even look up what possibly could be 30. What, I want to be a bird? I want to be a cat? What the hell are they talking about? I mean, morals and values have just gone right out the window. Decency has gone right out the window. This is what happens when you lose faith in something bigger than you. And you eradicate it from society. This is what happens. This world is getting uglier and uglier. It makes you want to just move off and 
do like a lot of people do and get off the grid and just get away from all this mess. Because every time I turn around, there's something else. The commercials are getting more provocative. The, you know, whatever. I'm just disgusted of it all. And I'm not even a straight-laced, follow-all-the-rules-completely type of person. But this is ridiculous. And young people think it's okay. Okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. This is great. If they think this is okay, where are we going to be in another 40 years? I don't think we're going to be here with at this rate. I just don't. And it's not going to be for the lack of effort of some people to try and keep things on in line. But the ones with morals and values in this world where, you know, we need to stand up because right is becoming wrong and we're getting called names for, you know, pointing out that things are wrong and wrong is becoming right. It is as above, so below, flip it upside down, and everything else. It is. It's disgusting. My poor grandfather, God rest his soul, he was an Eagle Scout and proud of it. He was a true man. I mean, do these women actually think these men are attractive? And they want to marry them? I like real men who can teach me something, show me something, protect me. What is wrong with society? This younger generation better wake up because they're headed straight to hell. All I can do is pray and speak my peace. And today is a beautiful day, so I'm going to try to enjoy it and spend some time with family. Y'all have a good one. Peace out.